Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice <laughs> as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Phew. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. She's a friend. The skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. I'll get them out of here, one way or another. Hi. Though you never speak them aloud. I, I talk to them first. Inside you, and I know of a cure. Oh, good. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't mm. trust her. Good, you're coming down. It's easier. Take this. Mm. What now? Attack. Mm. Critical miss done! Hmm, I didn't go back now. Ouch! Mm. Ouch! Surrounded. Let's have a little fun. All right. Oof. Oh, that was close. Oh, there's clearly something about <laughs> Forgotten Realms lore that I don't know about. Um, how do we get you down? Slow to respond. 
Unsurprising. Hmm. Enough gawking. Get me down. Hmm. You're being a bit rude. Where you mess? Say please. Never. <sighs> okay, so just like this. Hmm, almost. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Okay. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Hmm. Simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure mm. I offer will suffice as thanks. And right, well, what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Right, we'll try to get but I'm being cautious. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Mm. Come. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Yeah, I was thinking she was being a bit racist towards Lazel, but... Um, maybe she's not so trustworthy. Uh, we should go to camp and... Uh, can we take a long rest there? And the day, so... Okay. Oh. Wow, that's... Ooh la la. Why does everyone have better underwear than me? Mm -hmm. He's just wearing briefs, but... Pretty cool design on them, and... Uh... Oh, those are some interesting scars. Both broken, you're broken, you're... I guess, um, when I do a long rest, um... That happened? I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. Uh, really? You me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. <laughs> I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. You know, when I left the house today, I was thinking, damn, I really hope some hot chick paints my brains all over some f***ing <laughs> hallway. Anyway, um, don't about yourself. Well, I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Alright, anyway, um... Oh? Inspiration? So when I do a long rest, uh... So... Go to cha Use channel oath charges. Oh. Oh, you have something to say? A monster forms inside us. And you think to be idle. Hmm? I knew your kind to be fragile. But I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. We need to pace ourselves, don't you? No exhaust war is an ineffective one. A headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. 
Should a single right. tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Mm. What were you two talking about? Hmm? What do you mean? You and that Gith Yankee. We're discussing the next steps. I'd be careful with Lazel. I'm confining anyone. I was just talking. So if we're to survive, we need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Mm hmm. Agreed. So you find someone to help us the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. Hm. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. I am. Full rest. So, I gotta be talked to? Hmm? Hmm? Sounds like Alden's appearing again. Oh. oh. Plate hat. How do I do that? Oh, there you are. Okay, um, let's talk. What? What was my oath? I've forgotten. I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation, the shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. What was the oath I broke? Um, who are you? I was the first. The first to swear. The first to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow. I see their jubilation. I guide their hand. Oath breaker. You How do I swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order, to protect those who value life, and vanquish those who would destroy it. How did I break my oath then? Why did you abandon your oath? How? How? Not my intention, my actions had unexpected consequences. In judgment. To know the reason for your fall is, perhaps, to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. I'm very confused as to what happened. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. Oh? Any way to reclaim my oath? possible. But such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed, and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained, and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. So uh, what? I'm more about these powers. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even mm. these shadows gather around you. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. What do you achieve after banning your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness. He had held a candle for those who needed the light. My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually, I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way, as I show you now. Well, I, I can control... Hmm. 
darkness and I'm not bound to her, so um, I think I'll go with this. I'll become an oath breaker. Resist. Surrender and be remade. Though born of a vile source, these powers can be used for good or ill. I still don't understand how I broke the oath I apparently had, but hmm? no longer bind you. The choice is yours alone. <laughs> Alright. Put these powers to good use. <laughs> 